Hello and welcome everyone to this channel. My name is Kumar Saurabh and today in this video tutorial we will learn about the python scipy t-test independent. Let's see what we will learn in this video. First we will know about what is a t-test in the statistics. After this python scipy t-test independent then we will understand python scipy t-test independent output and we will also learn about python scipy t-test independent alternative at the end we will know python scipy t-test independent equal variance now move to the first topic what is a t-test in the statistics t-tests are inferential statistics that are used to determine whether a difference between two group means and their associations is significant t-tests are used when data sets have a normal distributions and unknown variances when evaluating a hypothesis, the t-test uses the t-statistics, the values of the t-distribution and the degrees of freedom to assess the statistical significance. The t-test establishes the problem statement mathematically by taking a sample from each of the two sets. The two means being equal is taken as the null hypothesis. Three essential data values are needed to calculate a t-test. They consist of the mean difference the standard deviation of each group and the total number of data values for each group as well as the difference between the mean values from each data set. In this video tutorial, we will compute the t-test of the independent sample using the method of python scipy. The next topic is python scipy t-test independent. To calculate the t-test using the means of two independent score samples, a module called scipy.stats in the python scipy contains a method called t-test independent. This is a test of a null hypothesis that the average value of the two independent samples are the same. This test takes for granted that the population variances are identical. The syntax of the method is as follows. scipy.stats.ttest ind where parameters are a, b. The arrays must be identical in shape except for the axis corresponding dimension axis a axis along which the t test is computed calculating using the entire arrays a b if known equal where perform a typical independent two sample test with identical population variances if it is a true and this is the default value if it is a false it carry out a Welch t-test which does not require equal variance across the population. Alternative It describes the alternative hypothesis. The following choices are available, two-sided, less and greater. Let's see with an example how to compute t-test for two independent samples. Import the required method or libraries. So here we are importing numpy as np, then importing method norm and t-test from the module scipy.stats. Execute the code. Now define the random number generator rnd numgen using the method np.random.default rng. Then pass this random number generator to a method norm.rvs with log equal to 3, scale equal to 7, and size equal to 250 to generate a random numbers as a sample. Execute the code. Now Pass the above to created sample to a method t-test independent to compute the t-test on this sample. Execute the code. From the output, we can see that the statistics value of the sample is 0.4 and p-value is 0.6. This is how to perform t-test on the independent sample. The next topic is python scipy t-test independent output. After doing a t-test on the sample, Python scipy t-test independent method returns or outputs the two values. A statistic is the first value and p-value is the second. Using these two values, we determine the significance of the means of two samples. Let's understand with an example. Import the required method or libraries. So here we are importing t-test independent method from the library scipy.stats. Execute the code. Now we are creating two sample, sample 1 and sample 2 with the help of list. Execute the code. Now perform the t-test on these two samples. Execute the code. From the output we can see that the t-test independent method returns two value, statistics and p-value. The t statistics measures how far an estimated value of parameter deviates from its hypothesized value about its standard error. But here, main value is the p value. Using this value, we determine the significance of means of two sample. 
So if p value is less than 0.05, it means there is a significance in means of two sample. If the p value is greater than 0.05, then there is no significance in the means of two sample. This is how to get the two values of the method test independent. The next topic is Python SciPy test independent alternative. The alternative hypothesis is specified by the method test independent parameter named alternative. The following alternatives are accepted for the alternative parameter. Two sided. It signifies that the distribution means which the samples are drawn from are not equal. Less. The first sample underlying distribution mean is lower than the second sample underlying distribution mean greater. It means that the distribution mean for the first sample is higher than that of the second sample distribution. Let's understand with an example how to perform a t-test with an alternative hypothesis. Import the required method or libraries. So here we are importing t-test independent method from the library scipy.stats. Execute the code. now. Create two sample using python list, sample1 and sample2. Execute the code. Now perform a t-test on these two samples with x is equal to 1 and alternative hypothesis equal to two-sided. Execute the code. Here notice the statistics and p-value of this test. Now again perform the same test with alternative hypothesis equal to less. Execute the code. Again notice the statistics and p-value. Then again apply the t-test with the alternative hypothesis equal to greater. Now again check the statistics and p-value. From the output if we compare the result or the statistics or p-value of the three tests, we found that the statistics value of the three tests is same but p-value is different. This is because of a alternative hypothesis. This is how to perform the t-test with the alternative hypothesis parameter of the method test independent of python scipy. The last topic of this tutorial is python scipy t test independent equal where. What will we do in the situation that our data samples have equal variances. We will make advantage of the python scipy parameter equal where of type boolean of the method t test independent. By default this parameter is true or active when there is the same number of sample in each group or when the variance of two datasets is comparable an independent t-test is used let's understand with an example how to compute the t-test of sample with equal variance import the required method or libraries so here we are importing numpy as np then importing method t-test independent and norm from the library scipy.stats execute the code now generate a data with the equal variance so first here we are generating random number generator using the method np.random.default rng then we have passed this random number generator to a method norm.rvs to generate a sample with log equal to 4 and a scale equal to 5 which means the both the sample is going to have equal variance execute the code now perform the t-test on this sample with equal variance parameter equal to true from the output the statistic value is minus 0.4 and p value is 0.6 this is how to perform a t-test on the sample with equal variances. Before we end this tutorial, let me tell you that we have detailed post about python scipy t-test independent and link to the post is given in the below description. I hope that you have enjoyed video tutorial about python scipy t-test independent and learned about how to compute the t-test of an independent sample with or without equal variances. So at last I want to say don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel. Thank you.